Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lambda Tycoon 2. Um, I didn't really have any plans. Like, literally didn't have any plans because I was uh, kind of hanging out with the uh, Magnum developers on their stream um, and realized what time it is. And I don't have a video for tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, I was going to try and do what I was trying to do yesterday, and that's to fly the sled into areas that it's it's just not supposed to go like under the map and stuff like that um so we're probably gonna have long bit of travel as we attempt our flight this is pro th this is probably going to get patched by the way if you guys didn't know Ooh, i can stop okay um however relatively Far away from the blue ball my mouse is. That's that's how it flies. By the way, if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Uh, yeah, I, I play a lot of Lumber. Lumber Tech can too. I've, uh, I've got other series going uh, at the moment. Currently, it's Subnautica. It's really fun. Um, you can expect that in about 30 minutes. Uh, sound check. Check, check, check. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Okay, we're good. Good, good, good. And yeah, I've got coffee with me so I mean that's cool um, but yeah I'm just flying around right now oh this is so slow there's got to be a better way to grab this thing I w wasn't I doing this yesterday like so much easier to hold on um, let me make sure I'm over land let's try doing the, the whole shift and rotate thing oh there it goes now we're flying but I gotta be careful that it doesn't get too far away from my mouse and I got to make sure that I don't tilt too far forward because if you get past a 45 degree angle it will fall but this is this is how you fly now I can stop it and I can actually oh ooh, that's awesome okay there we go so let's rock forward I do have a gingerbread axe and an end times axe on me just in case we find anything of um, epic interest of some kind. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find anything too interesting. Hold on. Oh no! No, oh, dear goodness! I fell! Just kidding. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. It's okay. Alright, here we go. Uh, Upsy daisy. Oh, now we're moving. Now we're moving. Easy code. Easy. Here we go, here we go. We're about to the edge. Let's go ahead and rock it back. Now we're just gonna go downward. Nice and easy. What happens if I go left? Okay, so controls are a little, little wonky as far as like forward and back and there we go. We're going down. <gasps> We're about to see under the map. And legitly, without exploits. Unlike a lot of videos I've seen in the past. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh. Nice, easy turns. Okay, so that block over there, I think that is in the snow biome, and I think that is the, um... What is that? That's the... Oh, 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 don't rise, don't rise. No, 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 stop rising. <clears throat> I think that is the smuggler's den where you get the rookie axe. All right, I have to tilt forward just a little bit here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. All right, gotta go down. But I wanna keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. All right, rock forward just a little bit. Oh gosh. Come on, sunlight. We need you. I need to not be so close to the lava that it hurts me. And what's what's crazy is like oh my gosh, did you see that? That was one of the trees falling down. Um having Ooh, there we go. Still moving forward. Keep moving forward. 
um, having like nothing below you to look at as a reference point really throws you off. Uh, wait, is this the Shrine of Sight? I believe so. I believe this is the Shrine of Sight. Right there. Yep, yep, that's it. Oh gosh. Um, hold on. How do I point downward a little bit? There we go. So if you look, right there are the two holes that you drop the, uh, the boxes into. Or the axes, now. And there's the lava that it falls into. So let's go up a little bit. Oh, it changed sound, but I'm not touching the ground. Oh, that's weird. Hello, Shrine of Sight entrance. Right there. Okay, I gotta I gotta turn. I gotta turn. Oh nice and easy. Easy. I don't know if you guys are able to see that or not. Um, if you can change the contrast. Like I, I can't let go. Let's go up a little bit. Try and just nice and easy. Oh, darkness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. Go back down, 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 down. Oh. All right, what's over here? Stop, stop. Oh, oh, stop. Gonna have to go in circles. Oh, code, be careful, be careful, code. What is this over here? What is this? <sighs> Secrets. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, get out of there. Oh, <laughs> oh that's not good. Don't go back there. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, that's, that's caused me to go down some. This is still going forward. I'll just do nice, easy turns. I think this is the grove back here. Did we just get to the grove? <sighs> How to fly to grove by Code Primate. New video today. Actually, I don't know. I don't know where this is. All right, set her down. Oh, 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 coming in for a landing. Uh oh. There we go. Hand drop. Yay! So where am I? Can I can I walk up this? Ooh, just barely. It's like a really long walkway to nothingness. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was right. You know, that's, that's kind of cool. Let's drop down. There's a hole right there. <clears throat> Not much of anything else to see. Just a hollow cavern. New discovered area. New area discovered. Unlocked. Achievement. Glorious. Ooh, what's this? It's the volcano walkway. All right, was I sitting on the front or the... Oh, I was sitting on the back, right? Okay. And off we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, code. Okay. We're going to head downward. For now. <clears throat> like I said, this, this is probably going to take a little while. I mean, I, I probably could have sped, speed run, speed run this but I mean it's more fun that you guys get the full experience this is the scary part because if I fall right now I mean that's that's lava my axes are not coming back if I get like on the other side like above the void then uh, I, I've had a lot of questions like how did you fall out of the world and keep your axes and that's called a void kill so if you drop into the lava or you die by jumping into the water and drowning you do not get your axes back but if I were to fall right now I would fall into what's called the void and the void destroys everything that touches it so um, there's a script inside your character 
that says when your character dies, if you have anything in your inventory, it's supposed to res those things into the world and take them out of your inventory. Because you, like when you go into the void, that script and your body and everything gets destroyed, so it doesn't have time to get rid of the things out of your inventory. And it doesn't have time to um, take things, uh, put things in, into the world. So that's why a void kill is okay. Uh, oh, we, we wanted to go under the map, didn't we? Whoa, Nelly! Traveling downward. There we go. It's a nice speed to travel, I would say. Kind of level it out here. There we are. Okay. Now we're gonna get to see under the volcano. Ooh. There's some more little gaps over there. This is the main floor of the volcano right here. What's that? Why is there a a part dingle dangling? It's 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 dangling. What is this? Something new? Might just be a part. Might not be anything. Very slow. Okay. It is a part. It's like a wedge. How do I? Oh, no, no. I don't want to go up. No upward, please. Oh, I want to look up there. I want to look up there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Level it out, level it out. Level, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? No, 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 down, down. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay, we'll just go in circles here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. If I touch that lava, I'm dead. No touch the lava. Okay. Let's tilt forward here. Head downward. <sighs> By the way, this is this is very hard to control. This is really hard to control. Whoa. See what I'm saying? Only trained specialists should fly the sled. Hello. I, I've got a message. I can't answer it right now. All right. Um, let's head over this direction. Why not? What is... Oh, why is... Oh, is that the sand area? That's the end times over there. Sorry. Over there. <laughs> I'm always interested to see like what things can be seen. Oh, oh. Watch your angle code, watch your angles. And I, uh, by the way, I also got a whole bunch of comments from you guys about the uh, um, uh, glitch. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this thing over here? Did I discover a new area? Let it be known, Code Primate has found a new ledge. I don't know. Um, maybe. Do I get accredited? Anyway? No, probably not. It's just an, a ledge. It's the boat shop. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Now everybody's going to be like, Code lied in this video. There was no boat shop back there. Okay. Ooh. Darkness. Haha. <laughs> okay, make sure that we're not sliding. Sweet. Sweet. I did find a new area, didn't I? That's pretty cool. Hold on. 
Um, let's go to Roblox. Right click, filters. Turn on our chroma key. Not chroma key, uh, color correction. Let's just take a look at here. What is this? I love looking under the maps and in places that I'm not supposed to go. Well, not really not supposed to go, but like... Exciting. <clears throat> you know, I, f I feel kind of like Aladdin in his magic carpet. I can show you the world. Well, I can show you lumber at least. Got both of these under control. Just fine. Oh, oh, oh. Backwards, backwards. Stay away from the wall. Stay away from the wall. Stay away from the wall. Oh, gosh. Oh. That was dangerous. Oh, no. I forgot to turn off the chroma key. Oh, no. Uh, I can't let go. I can't let go. Don't let go. Um, shoot. Now it's just going to be really bright for you guys. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I'll find I'll find another ledge. I'll find another ledge. Actually, it's it's pretty dark on screen too. So I mean, it's just the bottom that's really bright. I can barely see in the actual video. Okay, we'll go we'll go this direction. Why not? Yeah, can we go down down some? Hold on. Hold shift. Rock forward. Oh, now we're just going up. There we go. Now we're going down. Oh, oh, idea. Why don't we go to um, Tom's, what are us, and look underneath to see if we can fly in where the uh, beta axe used to be. That'll be fun. We can see the staging, it's, it's the staging platform. It's the place where uh, Defaultio puts new things, new axes before they come out. That or, it's, no, it's the retirement platform. That's where he puts them whenever he's done with them. Don't go down too far, Code. Well, I'd have to be under end times. Oh, you guys can't see it. Okay. Well, shoot. We're making our way over there right now. Nice and slow. Hold on. Can I tilt forward? Tilt forward, tilt forward. Careful. Alright, it just it just looks like brightness, but I promise I'm actually moving forward. There we go. Oh, 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 careful. <sighs> the moon's down there. You can't see it because of the filter. But, oh, uh, can you see that in the corner? You can't even see that in the corner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the just the whiteness. That's all you're seeing right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up ahead is the shop. If you guys want to know what that green floaty thing is, that was the winter event. Hold on, hold on. Got to go down some. There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I'm glad I left the filters on because you can't see anything. Wow, it's like super dark. Okay, so <clears throat> this is part of the winter event that happened um, with the, the Furwood. It was a Roblox event. All good. Anyhow, this one was supposed to be next to Wood R Us, and it never got released. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. circle, circle around. Circle around. Going up slowly. Wait, is that Tom's feet? Tom! Yes, sir! I see your feet, sir! Oh, gosh. 
Oh no, 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 grab, 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 grab. I hit the grab button. Oh, poo. <laughs> well, lost another one, code. That's okay. Do, 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 do. I'm actually really excited about <laughs> being able to go underneath there and show you guys that. That was that was fun. All right. Um, how many sleighs do I have left? I can show you the way. That's going to be stuck in my head now. Oh, man. Okay. Let's open this up. I got two. Two left? No, I got three. I got three left. Okay. And we'll keep that one in the pretty bow. Come on, you. Let's go. Adventure time. <clears throat> Copyright. <laughs> All right. Um, best sledding area. Think, 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 think. Okay. Have an idea. And I'm going to see how fast I can travel now that I feel safe and confident about... Oh, gosh. And that was not safe or confident. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> no, just get back on there. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm able to travel around a little bit better. A little bit more confidence. What's happening is the blue ball is trying to correct itself and get to the, where the mouse pointer is. In 3D relational like objects, if I just click, it tries to get to where the mouse is, but the camera's moving at the same time. That's why you fly. Uh, if I wanted to go straight up, I could just click it like this. But then you gotta like figure out, oh. There we go. That's not bad. If we tilt forward, the ball is technically like tr still trying to get to the mouse. That's, I guess it's, it's hard to explain, because like I could let go and move the mouse to different areas. It's trying to get to the mouse, but it's a it's a 3D pointer inside a 2D flat screen. GUI, user interface, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> That's right, I call it a GUI. You mean the GUI code? No, the GUI. It's a GUI. It's always been a GUI, just like WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. I come from an old school line of programming of ancient ancestries known as MS-DOS. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> well, kind of. Um, I do come from that old school programming. <clears throat> In fact, I remember like one of my original books was MS-DOS, like 5.0 or something like that. I really like that book. It's still around here somewhere. But it's worth some money now. Not really. I bet I couldn't even get a library to take it. It'd be like, Pfft, that's old. Mm, okay, well, that, that works. All right, we need to go on adventure. All right, here we go. We're gonna slide down this thing, ready? Let's go. Did not go far. Shoopoom. Sapoom. Sapoom. There we go. And we're off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oof. Turn. <laughs> oh, no. That, the grab is just way too OP. There we go. Let's go this way. No, no. I we want to go forward. There we go. Always make sure you, you like before you go flying off the edges. <laughs> Ooh, I bet that's a fun slide up there. Hold on. Alley oop. Alley oop. Hold on. Up to Daisy. 
Nope, nope, come on. Alright, what are you doing here? There you go. Come on, come on. Sail! <laughs> Alright, and down we go. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's get us centered a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Pew! Pew! <laughs> oh, that was a perfect run. Nicely done. Alright. <laughs> I like sledding. Um, I remember my old neighborhood, um, it was, mm, oh, okay, I won't say where it was, because, I mean, you could probably trace that stuff. Anyhow, um, we lived in a subdivision, and, uh, the, like, all the kids, whenever it would snow, we'd all head down to this one guy's house, and in their backyard, they had this, this huge sloping hill that would go down to, like, this open field area. And everybody used to go down there. I mean, you would have parents who would come down and they'd set up little tables so we could have hot cocoa. And it was like a neighborly thing. It was, it was something that all the neighbors kind of got together and did. And we don't do that anymore. And I don't know why. Um, when I was little growing up, like, my mom would stick me on my bike and say, all right, head down to your friend's house and... No problem. I am afraid to let my kids out the front door. Like, even if they're just going to be, like, on the sidewalk playing, or if they're going to be in the driveway, or if they're in the front yard. I don't trust people. That's, that's sad. And scary. At the same time. Because you see... And it's not that anything's worse or better than it was. It's just we have access to that information now. So... The news stories that you'd hear at uh, the 10 o'clock news, right? You'd, you'd get two or three stories that, of local news, something like that. Maybe something national in the paper. But now, with Twitter and with Facebook and with information technology, you have access to all the stories all the time. And everybody is about the negative. Um, I mean, you, you see some positive stories and you see some positive things. But the majority of it is negative, hateful, mean, bad stuff. And I think that's the problem with the world. I, I truly believe, like, something has changed with our technology, with our upbringing, um, with our trust. And I worry about it. I worry that my kids aren't going to be as social socially apt apt than than other kids because I do I let them get on cell phones and tablets and computers and consoles and everything else and it's not it's not uncommon and, but let me take another side to that because I truly believe that the world is moving towards a technological advancement in the future in, in the first place like, we don't socialize the way that we used to because we have technology that allows us to socialize across the, the entire world. Um, I should probably take a sip of my coffee because I'm getting into some deep conversation here. <laughs> <clears throat> our social media and the way that we live our everyday lives has changed. It has changed the way our lives work. Um, personally, I think it's for the better. I've had um, some people tell me, you're not very social, are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm, like, extremely social. Uh, is that a dead tree, or is that... What is that? Hold on. No, this is a cherry tree. I just couldn't see the rest of the branches. Um, I am very social. And when it comes to an IT nerd geek programmer, <laughs> I have a lot of social skills that or out, let's see, introvert, extrovert. They're very extrovert. And it's a good thing. I don't know where I was going with that. I should probably, you know, blame it on the ADHD or something. 
and don't take offense to that because if this is your first time or if you haven't like watched my um, draw my life special I do have diagnosed ADHD clinical has it that so it's non non offensive when somebody's like are you having an ADHD moment no it's people who truly have ADHD and this is this is for anybody that's watching anybody that's ever said this um, if you're having an ADHD moment I want to tell you something I don't get to turn it off somebody that has ADHD you don't get to have a moment ADHD is constantly on it's not something you can cure it's not something that you can suppress um, in fact like my son he takes medication for it now and it's helped it helps him focus I've asked him do you feel any different he's like no not really I'm but you can tell in his grades, you can tell in his behavior, you can just tell. And he'll learn to grow into it. Um, but it doesn't go away. So I don't want people to think, oh, he's, he's better now. No, you don't grow out of it. It, it never goes away. <clears throat> in boys, it tends to manifest a lot stronger than girls. And that's... That's just, I, I don't know. I don't know why that, that is. There's probably been studies by doctors that say why, but um, organizational skills, I've got none. I mean, I cannot organize to save my life. You can see that on my base. You can see that in my, um, my videos. Anytime I have to organize something, I get bored. And it just doesn't interest me anymore. Um, here's something else. Parents, if you have a child who has ADHD or has some other kind of sensory disorder or some kind of autism, something along the spectrum, because ADHD is, is part of that. I don't want you guys to think, oh, ADHD, ADHD, Asperger's and autism are all different. No, they're, they're, mm, they're within the same range of things. So, um, ADHD itself if you have a child with ADHD and they're like watching television and they're really into the television program and you call their name and you call their name and they call their name, I want you to understand something. Even though it, it looks like it didn't take very much work to get into what they were doing, the human mind with ADHD, it takes a lot of effort. I mean, a lot of effort to zone in and get stuck on something. So when you start calling their name and trying to pull them away from what that one thing is and it's devastating it is it is so hard um this also goes with like video game play if you're a parent and you walk up and you say it's time to go now and you turn off the game you gotta stop that okay that that's got to stop you cannot just walk up to a game turn it off and expect there to be no repercussions or fallouts from somebody that has adhd autism asperger's okay you need to give a warn like hey five minutes you got to get off or three minutes get to a safe point because the progress that you guys have sorry <laughs> i'm just kind of staring at darkness here the progress that happens inside the game that is a huge reward for somebody with adhd with with um autism with asperger's with um sensory disorders it is, it is rewarding, and it is satisfactory, and it's instant. So to rip it away is like somebody coming in and taking your wallet and pulling the money out and saying, it's gone. You don't get to save it. You don't get to keep it. You don't get to continue on with it. It's gone. It's, it's like somebody just, <laughs> you just got to stop, okay? Because I've heard horror stories of... Um, parents just walking in and unplugging a TV. You guys said no! Okay, first off, calm down. Deep breath. You gotta find a, a better solution. So, Anyhow, <laughs> sorry, I'll step down off my uh, sensory disorder um, soapbox now. <laughs> probably, like if you're new to the channel, that's probably not what you were coming in here to see, but um, yeah, that's, that's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love the gingerbread axe. <laughs> ADHD, if you didn't know, stands for Attention Deficit... Hey, Donuts! No, Attention Deficit Hyper Disorder. 
um, Asperger's um, is a form of autism. And um, autism, I think most people, you, you know what it is or you have an idea of what it is. So, when you, like if you think somebody has ADHD, I want you to know that that's probably not true. If somebody thinks that they have ADHD, no, you will know if you have ADHD. Things are hard to stay on task. Organization skills are just non-existent. Um, you are extremely intelligent. Don't do not get me wrong. You are smart. In fact, if you have ADHD, I would say that you range borderline genius um, as far as your intelligent level goes. So just because you are a fish trying to climb a ladder does not mean that you won't get anywhere. Okay? And what I mean by that is if you take an aptitude test or if you take some kind of test and they're scoring you low, like, oh, your English is horrible or your, your comprehension is, is poo, that does not make you dumb. In fact, that they're still on a standard. Okay, and standardized testing doesn't work for people with autism, ADHD, or anything else. <sighs> all right. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's your choice in the end. Um, it really is your choice. It's your choice to be here. It's your choice to listen. It's your choice to like, comment, subscribe. It's you. That's the reason I'm doing these. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro.